as you can tell, it's definitely time to get started planning. So I'm just going to show you a quick video of how I'm doing it this year. And I'm going to be using a tomato as an example, giving you some pointers. So I'm going right into the all-purpose potting mix soil bags that you buy right from the store. So it looks just like this. I'm going to just use it right in this. No sense in spending money on pots. At the end of the year, I'm just going to be able to open this up, spread it in a compost pile or a flower garden and recycle the plastic and there'll be nothing left. So if you're going to do it this way, first thing you want to do is kind of break it up because it can get compacted. Now that it's broken up, you can tell there's a white side and the green side. The green sides, the darker color will absorb the sun and kind of heat up the soil. We don't want that. So I'm going to be planting on the white side. But first thing I'm going to do is just using any type of handsaw. I'm just going to poke some holes in the green side, which will be the bottom. These are going to be drain holes. I'm going to do one big one, like a cross in the middle. I'll probably do, I did the corner. And you want to make them about an inch and a half long at least. Um, that way they won't, if they're too small, they're going to get clogged. So I got some drain holes. I'm going to even out the bag. I'll flip it over to its new spot. I'm going to take my pocket knife. And I'm going to make an X in the middle. I'm not going to do a circle and you'll see why. You can see here, I just made an X. Now I'm going to peel the soil back. I got my tomato plant with the label. Put it right in the middle and I'm going to cover it with soil. And then I'm going to take the bag and kind of push it all together. Take a nice little mound. And then, when I was talking about the circle of the X, if you make a circle, you're going to be left with that hole, which is okay, but it's more room for evaporation or space for weed seeds to fall. So what you can tell is when I did the X, it almost folds up perfectly around the stem. Now I'll usually uh, fold one under like this, and that way I can water it easily or put a dripper in. Yeah, that's what I'm going with this year. And with tomatoes, pretty simple. You're just gonna kind of, if you're buying them, just plant them to the soil line. One thing you can do is if you look at the purple first part of the tomato stem, you'll see all little fuzzy hairs. Well, believe it or not, if you bury this plant in the soil, those hairs turn into roots. So some people like to bury them a little bit deeper than what they purchased them at in the sense that it'll give them extra length for roots to grow out and a stronger root system. I've done it both ways. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference. So I normally just go up to the soil line. But if it's a huge plant or it's really tall and looks like it had stretched from wherever you bought it, then you might want to plant it deeper to give it some support. Thanks a lot. Uh, we'll see you next time.